Governor Mike Pence has pulled the plug on the state's controversial website called Just In. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader has more on why the governor now nixing the site. Governor Mike Pence was all smiles as he entered the House chamber Thursday morning. But there's something wrong with this picture. And I'm, I'm here to remedy it. With that, the governor took his scissors and went about his business. It was for a good cause to fight cancer, but it would not be the only cut he would end up making on Thursday. I wanted to create a website that was uh, a resource, not a news source. And so uh, uh, after reviewing uh, the legitimate concerns that have been raised, um, uh, I thought it was best uh, to uh, simply terminate the Justin website today. Earlier in the day, House Democrats offered an amendment to strip funding for the website. House Democrat leader Scott Pilath introduced it on the floor of the House. And I think in this case, the best thing is simply to zero out funding for something that would uh, endeavor to replace our free and independent media here at the State House. That amendment was voted down as not germane to the bill that it was proposed to be amended into. The backlash over the idea of just in website had overshadowed the governor's biggest achievement of his administration. He'd negotiated with the federal government for seven months to come up with a compromise allowing him to expand Medicaid using the state's Healthy Indiana plan. Instead of basking in the afterglow of a potential presidential bid by reforming Medicaid, he was still fielding questions about just in. We're going to continue to drive toward transparency. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. The governor now asking state agencies to use the current calendar website to ensure the public and press have unfiltered access to releases and some of the public meeting notices.